Track 4 1. I bought this shirt in a sale. 2. My brother thinks online shopping is much quicker than going to the shops. 3. The good thing about shopping in a department store is that you can get everything in one place. 4. The last time I took something back to a shop, the customer services manager wasn't there. 5. I lost my credit card the other day. I was really worried someone else would use it. 6. Have you ever bought a train ticket with a student discount? It's so much cheaper. Track 5 could you tell me something about who does the shopping in your family? Of course. Well, in a way, it depends on what kind of shopping you mean. There are four people in my family, but only two of us actually go shopping. I think we're like most families, really. I mean, my mother always buys the food. She's very organised. You know, she always makes a shopping list before she goes out. She says it's a good way to save money. Anyway, she goes to the supermarket once a week and gets everything we need. My father and brother hardly ever go to the shops, but I love shopping. I'm the person in our family who goes shopping the most. I just love to go to the shopping mall with my friends. Sometimes I buy clothes on the spur of the moment, you know, without planning to. But quite often, when I get home, I don't really like what I've bought and I have to go back and ask for a refund. I don't like doing that very much. I think it's a bit embarrassing. Track 6 Hi. This is our last lecture about business and advertising this term. And today, I'm going to talk about shopping habits in different parts of the world. First... We'll look at who normally does the shopping. Yes, um, well, in the United Kingdom, about 75% of the food shopping is done by women. But this isn't the case everywhere. There are countries where up to 60% of men do the grocery shopping on their way back from work. And habits are changing, even in Western countries. For example, a recent survey showed that in the United States, nearly 50% of men shop for groceries. Now, let's look at where people shop. In fact, where people shop depends on whether they live in the city or in the country. As we all know, there are more supermarkets in the city and more markets and small shops in the country. So, as the population moves to the city to find work, more people are shopping in supermarkets than ever before. Track 7 Hello, good to see you all here. This afternoon, I'm going to talk about a recent survey into men's and women's shopping habits. Before I start, I'd like you to look at the list of statements about men and women and see which ones you would expect to be true. Right? Firstly... Let's look at the idea that women spend a lot of money on expensive shoes. Actually, this isn't true. In fact, women buy a lot of cheap shoes. Men, on the other hand, try to save money by buying special offers. What is surprising about women, though, is that they like shopping in expensive or exclusive boutiques. And it isn't true that they always make a shopping list when they go to the supermarket. We also expected to find that men would go to the supermarket after midnight to get their food cheaper, but this wasn't the case either. Then the third thing we learnt about women is that they like to shop in big department stores, which men don't like. They like to go shopping in specialist shops. OK, how many did you get right? Track 8, Section 4 you will hear the introduction to a lecture on consumer habits. First, in the exam, you will have 20 seconds to look at questions 1 to 4. Listen carefully and answer questions 1 to 4. Good evening, everyone. This evening, I'm going to continue last week's lecture 
by talking more about how people spend their money. First of all, I'm going to compare how people of different age groups spend their cash. You probably know that there's a lot of difference between what young people do with their money, how families spend their money, and what more mature people do. Secondly, I want us to think about what we imagine men and women spend their money on. And then I'm going to look at male and female spending patterns and see whether we were right. OK, to start with, let's divide the population into three sections. Let's say uh, young people up to the age of 30 in the first group. Then um, let's put families in the 30 to 55 year old group. So that puts adults over 55 in the mature group. Does that make sense? Before you hear the next part of the lecture, in the exam, you will have 20 seconds to look at questions 5 to 7. Track 9. Listen and answer questions 5 to 7. Right, well, I found that the first group, that's young people up to the age of 30, mostly spend their money on clothes, music and entertainment. That's not really very surprising, is it? Although, I must admit, I thought they might spend a lot on cars and travelling around. So, the next group is what I've called families, people in the age group from 30 to 55. Naturally, as I expected, this group spends most of its money on food, toys and trips out. But I was surprised to find that people aged between 30 and 55 spend most of their money on furniture and kitchen equipment, I suppose it's logical if you think about it. People are usually improving their homes at that age and household equipment is very expensive. But they also spend a lot of money on electronic equipment like video games for the children. Now turning to the third group, that's people over 55. I thought they'd spend their money on gardening tools and electronic equipment, but I was wrong again. People in the over 55s group spend most money on new cars and days out. Before you hear the rest of the lecture, in the exam you will have 20 seconds to look at questions 8 to 10. Track 10. Listen carefully and answer questions 8 to 10. So, what did we think about how men and women spend their money? OK, well, we thought that young women would spend a lot on clothes and shoes and that young men would buy more electronic equipment and cars. Well, when we look at the figures, we can see that we were right about the men. Young men spend twice as much as women on cars and computers. But, and this is interesting, we were wrong about the women. I was surprised to find that young women spend much more on beauty treatments than they do on clothes and shoes. So we'll have to think about that again. And there's another interesting fact about young women. It looks as though young women are much more concerned about their diet than men. We found that although young women don't spend as much as men on eating out, they do spend a lot more on organic foods than young men. That is the end of section 4. In the exam, you will have half a minute to check your answers.